Hello, all you poor people. Bruce Wayne here. Flying in my personal helicopter. Atop my beautiful mansion. What do you think, guys? Ha <laughs> ha! How about we land this thing? Oh god. Oh god. I got this. I got this. I'm an expert. Why are we going this way? Ah! Dang it. Hello, all you poor people. Bruce Wayne here, flying in my personal helicopter above my brand new Wayne Manor. Still in progress. Ah, why, 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 no? Why, damn you? Oh. Hello, all you poor people. Bruce Wayne here, the richest man in Gotham, flying over my new. Why am I? Why am I tilting? No, no. Anyway, that is my new house. Still in progress. Come on, come on, you dang helicopter. There we go. <laughs> in we go. Coming in for a landing. This is going to be perfect. I said this is going to be perfect. All right. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. No. Crap. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. And we're here! And we've landed! Right? That seemed realistic. Haha! <laughs> Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys! Lou up the great here again with another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back in. What did I. <laughs> we are back in the Batcave slash Wayne Manor! And let me out of here. Ugh. So I wanted to do a fun intro with a helicopter, and I thought I didn't have enough time to build my own helicopter, so I went on the workshop and picked up one that it looked good, seemed really nice. It's by, It was Attack Helicopter by. Extreme Gaming 654. Yay! And I chopped off the attack things because I wanted to make it look more like a regular helicopter instead of uh, an Apache or whatever. I took off some stuff. And I don't think I removed anything that had to do with stabilizing, but... Man, this thing is hard to fly. <laughs> but whatever. It's still a great-looking helicopter. Definitely check it out. Uh, I did not make it. I just picked it up on the workshop. I cannot fly it so well, but it served its purpose to show that we have a helipad on top of the library. Oh, I have so much stuff to show you guys. Yes, I do. And of course we have to have stairs going down from the helipad, yes. And I didn't want to put the helipad up on top of the third floor because um, it, it's not done yet. Yes, there will be a third floor. There has to be a third floor. And I got so many suggestions on the last one about the Batcave slash Wayne Mana, and oh my god, they were so good. I can't believe I didn't do some of them initially. Well, there kind of was a reason for some of them. I didn't put a pool in because I couldn't really find anywhere to put it. But, but I put one here. I made like a glass bottom. You really can't tell because this... There you go. It is glass bottom, <laughs> but these chunks of water block that you can actually sink into. Yay, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. They kind of, they kind of don't let you see through the bottom, but whatever, I'll put that back. That's minor. Uh, so yeah, I have a pool on the side of my building now. It's kind of suspended, like they're really, really fancy pools. Like you've seen in like really fancy hotels. Let me see if I have a chair here. Yeah, let me see. Can I? Come on, up on top. 
Haha! So fancy. Oop, so that's the way I did my pool. Because there really wasn't a lot of ground around the building of the same level to do a pool on. So I had to do like a fancy suspended pool. So it is very, very cool though. Let's get rid of this. And it has a waterfall leading into it. Yay! A waterfall! And this is the... This is the uh, the path above it. So yes, it's very, very cool. And of course, it has secrets. Another secret entrance into my underground cave type area is right here. What? You don't see it? There it is. Haha! <laughs> Now, of course, there would be water flowing in here, blah, 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 but whatever. It's, you know, it's, it's scrap mechanics, not real water. Ha ah, ha ah, ha ah. ha. And of course you can get back out. So that's one more secret entrance through the pool. I love it. I mean, that's not that secretive, but yeah, whatever. If you don't know to look up there, you won't know. You won't know. All right, let's see what else I got here. And of course you can see the pool through this glass. So that's kind of cool. So you can actually, like, be swimming in the pool outside the house and you can see in. I kind of like that. I really, really like that. All right. I have put in so many secrets. So many secrets. There's actually a lot going on in this room now. Some stuff done. Some stuff still being worked on. And the elevator is still being worked on. It's not complete yet. I actually have a floor for it now. And I've got some buttons, but they don't do anything yet. I'm still working on that. Uh, uh, secret number one. So, somebody said in the comments, or was it on my Discord? I don't know, but if you want to write in the comments different suggestions to put in this room, in this building at all, write it in the comments of this video, or go in my Discord. Link in the description. Go check out my Discord so we can talk about the Bat Cave. Yeah, wow, I couldn't think. Oh my god. The Bat Cave slash Wayne Manor. So we're still in Wayne Manor. So, there's a switch on the wall. It's hidden, but it's not... I don't want it hidden, like, completely. I want people to be able to use it. Because this is Wayne Manor. This isn't the Batcave. Things don't need to be really secretive. But I like the fact that stuff is hidden. And one thing that somebody suggested... Again, I don't remember if it was on Discord or on the comments of my last video. Was to put in a bowling alley. And I was thinking initially that maybe I should do that on the third floor. But I think I want to do just more rooms on the third floor. More rooms that I can decorate. Because I'm getting a lot of great ideas from you guys to decorate rooms in certain ways. And I thought that could be really cool. But hey, what did I say? Bowling alley? Let's see. This is going to be like the game room, I said. I'm going to definitely put a, a pool table in here and see if I can make something that looks like maybe some retro games. That could be really cool. But a bowling alley. Okay. How about here? Ha ha! Oh yes, check that out. Pops out of the ground and out of the wall. And it's totally a bowling alley. I'm not, ex I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with this, but I just wanted a little bit of a light show. I thought it'd be kind of fun. And of course, well, you have the pins. So let's, let's do this. Let's, if you drop the... There we go. Get rid of these ones. And they're all standing there. Now, if you put it away, the pins will fall. But for now, they're good. And so we have pins. We need bowling balls, don't we? Oh, they're already falling. Why? Why? Dang it. All right, I'm going to hit you anyway. I don't care. <laughs> so we need bowling balls. Hey, look at that. There's the bowling balls. Ha <laughs> ha. Again, just drop one of these. I'll take that. Let me see here. Put this here. And we have a hammer. Oh, we don't have a hammer. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. Bye, balls. All right. Ready? We got this. We got this. They're already knocked over, but whatever. Uh, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it? Get it! Yay! Okay, that was kind of lame. But whatever, we'll just we'll just put that away. We'll pretend that never happened. Just kind of... Bye. 
Bye. Okay. <laughs> so other plans for this room is going to be a bar coming out of the wall right there. Working on it. Definitely have to have a pool table. I'm not sure if the pool table is going to disappear or not. Um, I think I just want the pool table here. Maybe, maybe it can lift up and something can come from underneath of it? I don't know. Ideas, guys. Ideas. Because there are... There is space under this floor. Oh, well, in concrete. Aha, there is some space under this floor. Not a ton. That's why I couldn't make it a, a full another floor slash, I don't know, room or anything. But there is a little bit of space that I can put stuff in. So that could be kind of cool. I'll patch that hole later. All right. Other things that I've added. Let me see. Somebody said that there should be a bar in this room. But I really like the way the walls look in this room. I really like the aesthetic. I didn't want to ruin it. And I didn't. But I put a bar in. Do you see it? Do you see the bar, guys? Where is it? I'll show you. There is a little switch. Right here. And this wall is magic. And... There we go. Goodbye. And hello. Fully stocked. All ready to go. One hell of a bar. <laughs> there we go. Wayne Mana has to have a magically hidden bar. And there's a radio. Can I? Oh, there we go. And some TVs, because TVs are over the bar. Always. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I tried to make as many different kinds of bottles as I could. And I think these all look pretty good. Let's turn these off. Oh, yeah. And, of course, the seats that you can sit in and swivel. Because, oh, I have it on follow cam. Free cam. There we go. <laughs> you, have, you have to be able to have swivel seats at a bar. You have to. I don't know why I'm scared. Ah! 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 Okay, moving on. <laughs> Let's get this out of here. Push this button again. Everything goes away. And it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Let's check that over here. I started a little bit of painting, and I started tiling, because this is going to be the kitchen. I'm probably going to paint these tiles, because just bright white like this is a little too much. And I put in the stairs to the third floor, because there definitely is going to be a third floor in this. And if you can see, this is still working. Well, getting worked on. So, yeah, you can down to first floor, up to the third floor. That's how it works. This still works. Haha. <laughs> and once you get up to the third floor, there is the start of the next one. So, yep, down to the first or down to the second. Three floors. That's how it's going to work. This is going to be the third floor up here. Uh, I haven't done anything with it yet. But I've been working really hard, guys. I, I really have. Whee! All right, let's get out of here. We need to go to the Bat Cave. Yes, we do. Remember how to get in? Haha. Haha. Ha-ha! There we go. Ha-ha, we are in. Now, I've done a little bit of change in, changes in here. I've added some stuff. You can see Bat Duck. Thank you, Cole. I had to put Bat Duck in here. I was just waiting for the right time in the right place. I think that's just perfect because I was able to use him a little bit, too, to conceal some stuff. And I've completely redone this and the light situation in here. So the lights are a little different. They don't look a ton different from before. But there's actually a railing here now, and there's lights going all the way, and I think it just looks lovely. So we can turn that back off. That's not really doing much. When I actually have the night mod turned on, and it'll be nice and dark like Batman, uh, then these lights will really mean something, and I'll have to put a lot more lights in. It'll be all really, 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 really cool. So, I've changed over the sensors. There's no switch to activate this uh, bridge anymore. It's all sensor activated because of the beautiful new block sensors that you don't notice I, and i love it i love it so yeah you walk up here it automatically goes up and the same thing block sensors along here did i forget to paint one dang it there we go all right that's better hmm all right and as you walk it comes up perfectly for your steps if you run it doesn't work as well 
but normal walking pace works a perfect and the same thing on this side you walk up to here these are all centers i couldn't really find a way i mean i could have had a row of something here and then centers coming out but that would have looked weird and so i just had the centers poking up like this so you stand over any of them and it inactivates it and you can walk right across <laughs> i love it so this is coming along nicely i really like the way that this bridge works now i think it's just so beautiful it's just so beautiful no switches needed everything sensor activated automatic you can't you can do a walking pace ah, ooh, straight off of here but you really should wait for it to come up first because there aren't enough sensors here to to trigger soon enough i could put them in the ground i could put them in the floor just like i did on the other side so you can just straight up walk to it because right now you have to wait and then, he, and then you can walk across these, fine. Because all the sensors are activating them in the right order, in the right timing. And it's just beautiful. Comes up right under your feet. Ha 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 ha! And yes, Bat Duck needed to be added. And there was a door here, and I didn't have it quite lined up with the lines of the diamond plate. Or tread plate, if you want to call. Now, there is one here. You can kind of see the line, but, it, but now it is lined up very nicely. And... And it's super, super hidden. I had a switch before, and now it's now now it's super hidden. In Bat Duck, I love Bat Duck. He Cole, my buddy, who was on Discord, and he actually helped me out on Patreon. What a cool guy! And he made a bunch of ducks inspired with different characters. So there's like a Superman duck, there's a Bat Duck. I think there's a Flash duck. So all the different superheroes, and I had to put Bat Duck in here, and they're adorable. So I had to put Bat Duck. And underneath that duck, there's a little switch right here. Flip on that switch, and this door opens, and it's so freaking smooth now. Look at that. And there isn't a big bulky thing on this side like it was before. It just goes right through. And it's like magic almost. But it's because... There's a block behind there. If I do it again... There's actually, there's a piston that's not being used. It's just being used because of its ability to phase through stuff because it doesn't actually have like a hitbox. So there technically is a piston like in that block magically because, well, scrap mechanic. But it just makes it look so good now. And then it's there, one step, and you're in, and it automatically closes behind you, and it's just freaking gorgeous. Yes, and this will be where I put all my trophies. I need to put like, I don't know, like a giant question mark thing to be like Riddler's staff. And I don't know, I need different ideas for that. Like different trophies that Batman has for his for his villains that he's conquered, that he's beaten. This has got to be the trophy room. Yes, yes. And I just love the hiddenness of this door. I love it. I've gotten so much better at making these sliding doors. Thank God for pistons. And it's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. All right. That is all the new stuff. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. Let's go back into Wayne Manor and see what is going on in there. I think I've shown you everything new. Irma Gerd. I still have a lot to do, of course. Keep on giving me those ideas, guys. I'm loving it. I am so loving it. Secret door! Secret door! I love it. <laughs> Secret doors everywhere! And this is so cool. I love the pool, uh, the, the bowling alley so far. Love it. And all those busted down pistons. Oh, pistons. Pins. I guess I won. Yeah, I won. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have more ideas on stuff that I should put into Wayne Manor or the Batcave, let me know. I love it. I love it. Automatic doors and the helipad. Also, I think it was suggested by Darquise, who is one of my main guys on my uh, Discord, and it's just a great idea. I don't know why I didn't have a helipad before, but now I do. I just need a helicopter that I can fly a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne Copter. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. If you really like what you saw, make sure to subscribe. 
I love this. This is supposed to be like the bridge that goes over the river or the waterfall that comes down from there nah, 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 and goes into the pool. Because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah. You can kind of see it. The glass has a weird effect. Let me remove the glass. Then you can actually see the water more. Yeah. Yeah. 